verdict on this, mate? I'm liking the handle, more, more importantly. The shape and the depth of it, and the fact that it's so light, it's just so comfortable to use. I can imagine you can use this knife all day without getting too tired, and I think that's important when you're doing a lot of chopping. So let's punish that and see what it looks like at the end of the day. Let's do that. So if anything's going to punish a knife, that's going to do it. I agree. Not like those ads on TV where they just chop one tomato. Yeah. So one of the things we're looking at at the knives is, you slow down, master chopper, is just are you going to hit your knuckles on the board as you go through? So on this knife, you're not. It's got a good depth. But can you grab the other knife? But this knife that we're testing, the problem is you would be hitting your knuckles a lot. You were talking about the bolster. Yeah, so all these knives are eight inch in blade depth. They have different handles. And this one in particular is a bit old school where it has a heavy heel or a heavy bolster. That is the strongest part of a knife, generally used for knocking the knuckle off a chicken or a piece of duck. Most knives these days do not have that heavy bolster. They come like these two guys here. Still the strongest part of the blade will still be that heel or the bolster of the knife. This just has the weight in that, which I think makes that a stronger knife and possibly a more balanced knife if it suits you. Actually chopping very nicely. Surprisingly, it's more of a cleaver style knife. I do like these little indentations, so I think it uh, that won't grip any food on it, especially if you're cutting something starchy like a potato, sweet potato. And it's uh, very comfy, the handle. So what we're looking to see if the, bone, uh, the blade chips, aren't we? The blade and also if the uh, end of the chicken leg splinters, so it's a nice clean cut. Yep. We're gonna cut this now, this chicken leg in half, just. All right, so this is gonna punish a knife, right? This will be about the worst thing you could do with it. Okay, so that's the Spirit House Classic. Well, that's a good job. I think it'll do, do the job fine. Right, so it's just a matter of using the heel part. And, yeah, um... so use the heel again. But it's gone through three kilo of chicken. The knife's still sharp, but you can sort of see on the blade that there's little burrs. And what it is, if you look down the blade, how are you explaining it? Straight, like that. Yeah, like that. And as you put the burrs on, they sort of just go out both ways. And then you put a steel on and it. And you, you run a steel, steel down it, which won't sharpen it, but it will remove or straighten or those little burrs back out and the, and the knife and blade will come back true again. So that's what you're doing when you're stealing. You're not necessarily sharpening, you're just simply removing the burrs, which gives you that sharp cutting yeah. edge back. back. So putting it through the little sharpener we've got, there's two sort of little levels, one being coarse and one being fine. So you would just drag the knife through, starting from the heel of the blade. I tend to count the amount of times I do it. So we'll go one. Yep, that's brought that knife right back. Huh? Six little straights. So basically what we're looking at will be a knife set similar to this. We'll, use, we'll get the box with our trusty Spirit House favourite knife and we'll include a sharpener and um, we should be good to go now that we've put all of these knives to the test.